Hey y'all, uh, um, I'm going to do a quick little video tonight, I've been meaning to do this, okay, I'm sitting right here packing them up, getting them shipped out, thank you everybody, but what I want to do is give a little quick video of what this is, how it works, what it's made out of, okay, I should have done this a while back, but I've been so busy, I hadn't done that. Right, first I want to see, if you get one of these, let me show you a little trick here, if you get one of these, I found this one right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like it's bowed, okay, just a little bit. I found this one, okay? If it does that, I promise you, just, just keep working with it a little bit. And after you, because this is a big sheet of metal when they start out and they plasma cut this, all right? So it will bow until it gets settled in. That heat will finally settle in and they'll screw in and out. Just You may not get have that problem, but some of you may, all right? Anyway. This is 14 gauge stainless steel. Every bit of it, okay? Every bit of it, all right. Another issue I've had a couple of you ask is on this pipe, let's see, let me get one of these where I can hold it up like this. On this pipe, down inside of it, you was thinking it's rust. Trust me, stainless steel, it ain't gonna rust. That's where, when they made this well, on this cap right here, that heat just turns that metal. All right, there's a little trick. If when you wash it, after you cook on it a few times and you clean it, you take a magic razor, you stick it down in the bottom there and twist it a few times, I promise you, in no time it'll look like that pipe right there. All right, all right, let's get back on the on the right here. The pipe, we cover the pipe. Now this, this stuff is no joke. It's 14 gauge stainless steel, okay? It's gonna last forever. If it don't, just let me know and we'll fix it or replace it, either one. Anyway, uh, this rack here, we got 3 16 stainless steel rods. I got these little safety caps. I'm gonna ship it to you with them. But I suggest until you get used to working that chicken on here, okay? Leave some of these caps on here because I'm gonna tell you these things are sharp. And they hurt. <laughs> Trust me, they hurt, I know for a fact. So, until you get used to it, working around with it, you're messing around, leave some of them on so you don't get stuck. Hey, but one thing for sure, if you, if you stick it all the way through your hand, <laughs> you go to doctor, tell them it's good 304 stainless steel, so you're in good shape. <laughs> no, I hope nobody ever does that, but it can happen, so be careful. All right. Here, now this is a new addition to the family and I will post this shortly. Uh, these, the rack, okay, the rack, and it comes just like you see it here, okay, with your handle, okay? It's gonna come with your removable handle, just like that. That's what you get, $39.99. I know, but y'all, this is all good stuff. It's good stuff. You can get them, you can get them made cheaper, but not with this stuff here. I promise you. I promise you. It's good stuff. All right. Anyway, here you go. This is a new addition to the family. This is called this is tent rack. This tent rack. And this is a new addition. It's called the tent rack attack. All right. This is going to be an attachment. All you do is take your pipe off. And these are going to sell. And we'll post them tonight, maybe or maybe tomorrow. $14.95. I know y'all saying, well, that's high as two rods and a piece of stainless steel and, and, a, and, a, and a bolt right here welded. But this is this is 14 gauge stainless steel, okay? It's no joke. It's good stuff. It'll last forever, okay? Anyway, there you go. You're going to you move, you move your pipes, okay? Your pipe, either one's going to fit on here, okay? All right. And it just screws on. Now, you, your regular rack is good for your chickens. Cause man, I'm gonna tell y'all what, when you put your stuff down inside that pipe, it just, especially when it cooks a good long time, it just gets in that chicken and makes them wonderful. Hallelujah. All right, anyway, um, this way this going, you buy this separate, or I'm gonna be working on a complete bag somehow here with this. And also, what else? I got another thing that I'm working on. Maybe some of y'all may have seen me cooking with it last night. This is just a piece of something I had around. It ain't, it won't look like this. It's gonna be, what I'm gonna use is nice stainless steel. So that's the only thing I'm gonna use, stainless steel. But anyway, this basket here, it's gonna go on your, it's gonna fit right over your rack like that so you're able to do seafood boil, 
crab oil, vegetables. This is coming soon, all right? We're working on this now. Matter of fact, some of the stuff has been ordered, all right? Anyway, these are available tonight. These are available right now, okay? But there's enough of that, y'all. If you got any more questions, all you gotta do is email me. All right, by the way, these things, I made them for the pressure cooker, but they will be great on the grill or in your oven, either one. And actually, you take it, a lot of times I take my stuff out of my pressure cooker and I go to the oven or I go to the grill with them. Y'all use them and let me know how they turn out. Give me some pictures. Do a video. Thank you.